Let me show you a quick example of building a Flask application so you can see what it looks like. So this is the finished application. Same thing, I can add some to-do list items. You can see medium, medium priority kind of gets added here. So when you work with Flask, this is a more traditional web framework, which means you do need to understand HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to build interactive websites. What you can do in Flask is you can create these different routes which can handle the different data. And then these routes can pass data to something called a template which you can render on screen. Now, this is all interesting. This is kind of the Flask framework in action. It's about 80 lines of code here, right? To handle this website. However, check out what happens when we go to our templates. So in Flask, you can create these things called templates. They're pretty much just HTML files, but they have some special code inside of them that allows them to get variables from the Flask application and put them on screen. So you can see here that I have my title, I have a bunch of CSS to make my website look good, right? And then I have my traditional HTML. But inside of here, I have this templating language called Jenga. Now, this is a special language that's used within Flask and Django to interact with the Flask web framework and render kind of Python values directly in your HTML code. So you can see here this handle showing messages on the screen. If we come down here, this is kind of an HTML form for adding items. And then if we go further, we have again what looks kind of similar to Python code that we're using to render all of our to do items on the screen.